Greetings, all you people out there in the blogosphere. It is I, Grey, the Grey Man, here with my blog. Here with my bloggy, bloggy, blog, blog. I'm going to give you a jolly good blogging on this uh, 30th of December 2017. We are in the last days of 2017. Soon it will be 2018. Soon the decade will be... Oh, right, it's not that soon, really. You've got two more years. No, one more year. Two more years, yeah. And the decade will be done. OMG! Yeah. WTF! 2018 is coming. Uh, what are we going to do tomorrow night? So it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, New Year's Eve. We'll all be out partying, doing drugs and drink. No, we won't be sitting at home watching telly. <laughs> we will have some drink. We won't have any drugs, will we, babe? No drugs. We don't drugs. do drugs. Unless we have a headache, in which case we take some people, you know, mm-hmm. paracetamol. But uh, yeah, it's going to sit at home and play Fallout properly. That's probably what I'm going to do. Oh, my game. I thought my game had crashed, but it seems to be all right again now. No, it has crashed. Alright, it went look that's right. Playing Fallout as per usual, what a surprise. Kill us a please as uh, as uh, Del Boy would say. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I just gotta do the usual things. I've got a history on this day and a lovely little poem for ya. Lovely little poem. Right, so on this day, the thirtieth of December in history, in the year fourteen sixty, the Lancastrians rout the Yorkists at the Battle of Wakefield and execute Richard, Duke of York. Ooh. Also on this day in 1922, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics is formed, creating a new communist empire centred on Russia. Uh, yeah, that's broken up now, hasn't it? I can't remember what it's called now. It's called... I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, uh, on this day in 2006, former Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein is hanged in Baghdad in Baghdad for crimes against humanity. 2006 that was. Wow. Mm. Bloody 11 years ago. I don't remember it being December. No. Mm. Oh, well, yeah. Practically before the new year. Mm. He never quite saw 2007. He fell just a couple of days short. Oh, well. Right. Poem time. Let's do a poem. I've got all my uh, all my notes. Well, I think I've got some more notes to do actually for my my podcast tomorrow. If you like a bit of heavy metal, make sure you listen to my podcast for tomorrow. Is the greatest day of the year in my podcasting life. Well, not in my own, but every year I do Cthulhu Mass, which is a theme show all about Cthulhu in metal and uh, H.P. Lovecraft's mythos. So, yeah, if you like a bit of Cthulhu, if you just like a little bit of metal, then make sure you tune in tomorrow to my High Speed Hangover podcast. The link will be down below. Look down below. Not that low. A little bit higher. There it is. Probably. Well, anyway, random poem for you. This is by Percy Bysshe. I don't know if it's, I don't know how to say his surname. Mm-hmm. Middle name, really. Bysshe Shelley. It's a weird middle name. B Y S S H E. Percy Bysshe Shelley. Weird. Anyway, he lived from 1792 to 1822. He's only 30 when he died. Anyway, and uh, yeah, he had a poem here. It's a poem. This is a bit of history as well. This is called England in 1819. Uh, and as we've just read, it was just a few years before he died, so he knew England in 1819, which is nearly 200 years ago, isn't it? Yeah, it's nearly 200 years ago, because 2019 is only the year after next, isn't it? Wow, old, old poem. Right, England in 1819 by Percy Bysshe Shelley. An old, mad, blind, despised and dying king. Princes, the dregs of their dull race, who flow through public scorn mud from a muddy spring rulers who neither see nor feel nor know but leech like to their fainting country cling till they drop blind in blood without a blow a people starved and stabbed in the untilled field an army whom liberty side and prey makes it as a two-edged sword to all who wield golden and sanguine laws which tempt and slay Religion Christless, godless, a book sealed, a senate, time's worst statute unrepealed, our grace on which a glorious phantom may burst to illuminate our tempestuous day. There you go. Not quite sure what he's trying to say there about England in 1819, but it doesn't sound too good, does it? Mm. It Sounds a bit, uh, sounds just as bad as it probably would be nowadays if he was writing poems about England. It'd probably be something like Brexit, what a load of sh- Yeah, basically. That would have to start, probably. <laughs> anyway, I'm off. Oh, I'm quite tired now. It's not even. It's only half nine, and I'm. Uh, 
Feeling rather drowsy already, so yeah, I'll probably won't have an early night. I'll probably sit up staying up till three because that's what I do because I'm a Wally Bean. And uh, yeah, uh, I might do some research for a future podcast actually. My uh, f- my next uh, Patreon theme show is coming up in only two weeks' time. It's on the theme of snakes. I've got to find a lot of snake themed metal songs for my Patreon show. Anyway, I'm off. I'm out of here. I'm goodbyeing you all. I will be back tomorrow on New Year's Eve to give you one last blog for 2017. I hope you've enjoyed all the lovely blogs I've given you so far this year. I shall be back with one more blog. Then I've only got one more month and one more day. And I'll have completed my year and a day of blogging. Wow, a whole year and a day of blogging. What an awesome achievement. What an absolutely Herculean task. Anyway, not really. <laughs> it's not like mucking out the stables of the Aegean, whatever as we call it, or slaying the Stymphalian lion or whatever the words, whatever the task. Well, this is asleep already. That's a Herculean task in itself. She literally puts her head down and she's asleep. Listening to, listening to me talking nonsense and she falls asleep. Oh, she's still awake. She says she's still awake, but she says it in her sleep. Anyway, I'm off. Ski, like Trotsky. I'll be back tomorrow.